Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I've put together a Barbie mini movie. I want to mention that this is in no way related to my Emily and Friends doll series and I actually want to give a huge thank you to Estiel for sending me the story idea. If you have a script or story idea that you'd like to send me, send it to ddstoryideas at gmail.com to have a chance of seeing your story turn into a doll mini movie. Also make sure to watch this video over here if you want to get more details about sending your stories. Now quickly before we get into the mini movie, I actually have some exciting news. Well recently I've started a new thing called Throne Group Chat. I receive thousands of comments on my channel, and as much as I wish I could reply to each and every single one of them, it's nearly impossible. So Throne is the perfect place to chat with me and make sure I see what you have to say. You can ask me questions, tell me about yourself, suggest future video ideas, or just chat. Here I'll also post some bonus content, doll photos, sneak peeks into my next videos, and maybe even the odd live stream. You can chat in the group chat 24 seven, but I'll also be doing a weekly live chat on Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we can all gather together at the same time to talk. To become a member of the Throne Group Chat, it is $5 a month. Not only would you join and support me and my channel, but I know we'd have lots of fun getting to know each other better. If you are interested in joining, click the link in the description box below or in the comment section, and I hope to see you there. Now let's get into this doll mini movie. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the guitar solo tryout tomorrow, but I'm also nervous. I know, right? I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see you on stage with all the other school band members playing your solo. That's if I actually make it through. Come on, of course you're gonna make it. Who wouldn't love your guitar playing? Aw, thanks. I really appreciate it. And I just wanna say thank you for being my literal best friend since forever. I'm really grateful to have you, Chris. Don't be silly, Hazel. You know you'll always be my best friend, and I'll always stay by your side no matter what comes between us. But you know what I want you to do now? What? I want you to go to bed, because I don't want to be seeing you with any bags under your eyes for tomorrow. Well, same goes for you. Don't stay up too late either. Don't worry, I won't. It's almost 12 a.m. and we both need some good sleep. Okay, good night, Chris. Good night, Hazel. Uh. <sighs> I guess I should have listened to Chris. I'm exhausted. I didn't go to bed too late after we talked, though. Hey, Mom. Morning, Zelly. Hazel, I will suggest you take your time and eat. No can do, Mom. I'm going to be late for my tryouts. You know how much guitar means to me. I have to get this part. Okay, Zelly, but that doesn't mean you had to practice Bye, Mom. choke down all your food. <sighs> that girl and her guitar. Uh, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Psst, over here. Am I late? Did I miss anything? What did Miss Clara say? Am I in trouble? Talk to me, Isabella. Why aren't you talking to me? Because you're not giving me the chance to speak. Calm down, Hazel. Nothing is wrong. You're just six minutes late and you haven't missed anything besides Sabine singing. What a relief. Though I would have liked to have heard her song. You nervous? That easy to tell? 
Yeah, I am. What about you? You're still trying out for that violin solo, it looks like? Yep, and I'm pretty terrified too. You'll do great. Good, that was very good, Sabine. Next up we have Hazel Brown for the guitar solo audition. <sighs> you got this. Wow, that was lovely, Hazel. A very nice original piece. Thank you, Miss Clara. Isabella Wilson, you're up next for the violin solo tryout. So, how did it go? Did you blow everyone away with your awesome skills? <laughs> it went pretty well, I think. Miss Clara seemed impressed. She better have been. I wish I could have watched, but they shooed me away and told me I could only watch if I was also trying out for something. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You've heard me play many times. Fair enough. Bye, catch you later, Tina. Well, catch you later, I guess. For sure, see ya. <laughs> hey, Hazel. Hey. Liam? You look lonely over here. Could I walk you to class? We both have biology class together on Fridays. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, yeah, why not? Cool. Let's go. I don't want us to be late. Oh my gosh. Did he actually just ask me that? Oh gosh, my crush just asked me to go to class with him? I can't even barely strum a what the heck is he doing with her? <laughs> Ugh, I gotta go. I need to hear you play sometime. I bet you're great. Liam, you've been saying things like that all day. No, no, don't be embarrassed. In fact, I like when you say nice things like that. I'd definitely like to play for you sometime. Really? Hazel, can I ask you something? Yeah, I don't see why not. I know this might sound crazy, but do you want to go on a date with me tonight? Oh my gosh, did he just ask me out? Yeah, I'd love to. Great, meet me at the bakery around 7. Okay, see you tonight then. Bye. Bye. What just happened? What's going on between Hazel and Liam? I don't like that guy. Are they secretly dating? Hazel would have told me, right? Yeah, no, 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 that's a crazy thought. Hazel would never do that. <laughs> Hazel? Hey Chris, how was your day? I forgot to meet up with you after school. Sorry about that. It's okay. My day was fine, I guess. What about you? How was yours? My day was fine. Well, actually great. I have some amazing news. I'm all ears. Liam asked me on a date tonight. Chris? Chris? Chris, are you there? Do you hear me? Oh, yeah. Um, Chris, aren't you happy for me? Huh? I mean, yay. I'm so happy for you. Where are you going? I mean, where are you meeting him? At the bakery. I'm really excited and nervous at the same time. It feels like the tryout's all over again. Wish me luck. G good luck. Are you okay, Chris? Yeah, everything's fine. I'm just tired. Okay, well, get some rest and we'll talk later. Bye. Bye. No, no, no. I gotta do something. I, I, I like Hazel. I like her more than a friend. I've liked her this way since we were in elementary school and I really couldn't stand seeing her with that guy. What should I do? Hey bro, I couldn't help but overhear you. Ugh, what should I do? Is that all really true? Do you really feel that way about Hazel? Yes, yes I do. And Liam doesn't deserve a girl like her. Then make a move. What do you mean make a move? You know, go find her and tell her how you feel. What? Look here, bro. I know the kind of feeling Hazel has for Liam. I know Hazel will say yes if Liam asks her to be his girlfriend. What the? How is this helping? 
I know it's terrible, but I'm Hazel's friend too, and she has had a crush on Liam for a while. So bro, make a move before it's too late. Uh, Isabel is right. I can't let Hazel slip away from me just like that. I'm gonna go make a move. There they are. I know we don't know each other that well yet, but just today it seems like I've known you for years. Hazel, you're the girl every guy would want, and I want you by my side always. Hazel, will you be my girlfriend? Um... No. Chris? What, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Hazel, you can't accept his proposal. What? Excuse me? Why, why not, Chris? Why not? Because... Because I like you, Hazel. Like, really like you. More than a friend like you. Chris? I've had feelings for you since we were in elementary school. I just didn't know how to tell you. I thought... You... You thought what, Chris? That... That it would ruin our friendship if the feelings weren't mutual. Ugh. Oh, Chris. This is not the time for you to say all this. You know how much I hate to make decisions on the spot where I have to choose, and right now you're leading me to a love triangle. Yes, a love triangle, because I like both of you, and I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. I know. I thought you might think I'm a bad friend for this. I just couldn't stand the thought of you with him and not me, but that's selfish and not my decision to make. I'm sorry. You know something, Chris? I've always had feelings for you, too. Feelings more than friendship. But I, too, never thought the feelings were mutual, so I started to crush on Liam. Hazel, you still have not answered my proposal. Hazel, will you be my girlfriend? <sighs> Two guys are asking me to be their girlfriend. I have feelings for both of them. One is my best friend whom I've known since childhood, and one my crush whom I've known for just a few hours. I really need to make the right decision. Right now. Hazel, you need to make up your mind. Dude, give her some time. If you knew anything about her, you'd know the situation is extremely hard for her. Thanks to me. Uh, I'm sorry, Liam, but I can't accept your proposal. I'm really sorry. What? Are you kidding me? This guy? Over me? I'm sorry, but I can't be the girlfriend to a guy whom I've known for just a few hours when the boy I've known and liked my whole life is asking me the same question. I can't, Liam. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, great. Well, I hate you, Chris. I hate all of you. This wouldn't have happened if you didn't show up. Liam. <sighs> Hazel. Are you okay? Chris, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. What are you talking about? You shouldn't be sorry. I should be sorry. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting and not expressing my real feelings for you sooner. Then I wouldn't have put you through all that. It's okay, Chris. I should have told you how I felt sooner as well. Then, should we make this official? Hazel Bloom Brown, will you be my girlfriend? Yes. Please, 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 please. Yes! Yes, I did it! Congratulations, Hazel. Thank you. I'm sorry you didn't make the violin part. It's okay. I'll try again next time. <sighs> well, looks like he got over that pretty quickly. I still feel awful, though. Ugh, don't. He bashed out of you, remember? Sure, he had the right to be upset, but he didn't have to be a jerk about it. Besides, you only knew him for a small amount of time. He couldn't just expect you to be his girlfriend after hardly even knowing him. As weird as it is for me, I think you and my brother make a pretty good couple. Thanks, Isabella. Ah, uh, and here he is now. Chris? I did it, Chris. I got the part. I'm not surprised. You're a fantastic guitar player, Hazel. And a fantastic girl. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. I... I love you, Hazel. I... I love you too, Chris. Thank you, everyone, so, so much for watching. And another huge thank to Essiel for sending me this story idea. I had lots of fun recreating it. 
And don't forget, you can also send me your story ideas as well at this email over here. One more reminder to go and also check out the link in the description for my throne group chat because I really do think it would be a really fun experience and opportunity for us to chat and get to know each other better. Let me know what you thought of this video overall and if I should do more doll mini movies that are unrelated to my Emily and Friends episodes. Of course, I'm going to continue doing my Emily and Friends episodes, but I think these are just kind of fun to switch it up. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!